Good afternoon. I'm Jeff. I'm a sewer tech northwest. Today we're at property address 7160 Southwest 83rd Avenue here in Portland. We're located in the downstairs bathroom. We've got a toilet pulled here. We have three inch ABS uh, flange as the point of access. I'm going to insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. Currently, uh, we're going to have water running here in just a moment. Uh, I'm not sure if it transitions here to three inch. It does look like three inch. It's definitely cast iron pipe, but uh, uh, yeah, diameter appears to be three inch uh, cast iron immediately upon access here. I'm going to zero out the camera right here, and I'll refer to this spot as the point of access. Here we go. Okay, so it sounds like the, the uh, line is a uh, septic <coughs> system, uh, so we actually might be at the tank here. Let me get up to uh, 16 feet. It's really hard to say, but I did a, a, a marking there in the backyard. I just put a white dot. It's in the bark dust. It's about 10 feet um, away from the rear foundation uh, in the backyard, but it's in the uh, bark dust area. And it was right around 4 feet deep here where I located uh, so, I always recommend when it's a septic system to have the tank inspected, make sure that there's no root intrusion in it or damage to it <clears throat> that's working properly. Um, the pipe leading up to the septic here, about the lap, and I don't know if we hit the septic there at all. I just cannot go any further than that. There's a lot of turns that the camera's going through. Uh, but it is possible that, that, that we hit the septic system there. Uh, anyway, right here at about it's like 10, 11 feet. Yeah, 10 feet from the point of access all the way out to about 16, 17 feet where the camera couldn't go any further. Uh, we do have standing water here and uh, a bit of debris built up in the line. It looks like there's about oh, a half inch to an inch of standing water and because it's cast iron pipe, which is cast iron holds up well, it's very sturdy, but it's rough on the inside. So you get standing water in combination with rough pipe, it 
tends to cause a lot more debris to build up than a, a smooth plastic pipe would with the same amount of standing water. <coughs> so I'm going to go ahead and uh, do another set of locates here. I'll mark right here at 10 feet with a white X to indicate the beginning of the belly. I recommend a spot repair to correct the pipe here from 10 feet out to uh, about 16, 17 feet there where I stopped. And then I, I recommend trying to figure out where um, the tank is at. Uh, that way we know how uh, much further the uh, line goes or if it, if it stops there. Uh, because if there's another 20, 30 feet of sewer pipe before the tank, uh, it would be very important to get that inspected. Uh, which at this point would require either an external clean out, and we're going to look for one on the way back here, um, or to have a uh, clean out installed. I'm going to go locate here, see if I can find a clean out. This, this would appear to be um, the clean out. All right, went back out there and located here. Unfortunately, this tie-in uh, appears to be within the crawl space itself by about a foot or so. So, anyhow, I'm going to push back out here uh, to where this belly starts here. All right, I did a locate here. We're at three feet deep, uh, also in the bark dust. And I just did a, a white line in between the, the uh, X or the two X's, just indicating the uh, start and finish of the repair. According to the homeowner, he thinks that the septic tank is actually all the way on the far left side of the property. So it's very important to pull records to find out how, where the line goes and how long it is. Uh, because this is, this is as far as we can get, and it goes all the way over there. I mean, that, that would mean that the line's probably something like 80 feet long. So very important to figure out how long this line is, because it will require a clean-out be installed to actually inspect the entire thing. Because uh, that's just not adequate, uh, if it is indeed that long. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and reel the camera all the way back out. Uh, it would be an ideal time if you do the repair to fix the belly to maybe install a clean out right there um, and then you can scope the rest of the way out. But it's important to figure out where that septic tank is at. Because um, if, if it's right there, obviously it's 16 feet, then don't need to do that. 